Tom Ruth here, back with you, FireMaticTV.com, coming to you live from FDIC 2009. Uh, I'm fortunate enough here today to have Mark Gustafson from MSA. The reason we brought Mark in, we wanted to get a good look at some of the other products that they have out there, other than the meters and the air pack that we'll be seeing a little later today. So, uh, Mark, I noticed that you brought in something today. We know this as the Hazmat CAD. Um, what is a hazmat CAD, Mark? Uh, the hazmat CAD is designed for your first responders. This protects your chemical warfare agents, nerve, blister, mustard gas, uh, and this, this particular model also has the capability for certain toxic industrial chemicals, which are also you'll find in some of the terrorist applications for using common chemicals that they can get from uh, chemical plants. Terrorist applications and, and those sorts of safety applications being prevalent nowadays. That I mean, it's, it's obviously been the biggest thing for the last eight years. Yes. Okay, so I mean, what kind of departments are going to go ahead and, and get this? I mean, you said it was going to be some government? Uh, this particular product can be found. We have certain government agencies that, that do use this product. Uh, your fire department has MAT teams, uh, certain federal agents, uh, Federal Protective Services, Secret Service. Secret use, Service uses? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Now, fire department applications too? Fire department applications, no doubt, for hazmat runs if the unknown agents. Uh, this gives a very rapid response within 30 seconds. Uh, and you, you greatly have reduced the uh, false positives that are found widely out in the hazmat response. Well, what's, what's the percentage of false positives that we're talking about with a unit like this? You're talking in a, in a low single digit percentage of false positives. Now, is that better than what's out there on the market currently? Yes, because of the technology that's used in this particular mar instrument. Well, let's talk a little bit about the technology that's in it. I mean, MSA has been probably developing a unit like this for a long time now, correct? Uh, this product actually came from an acquisition MSA made several years ago from Microsensor, actually a Kentucky, Kentucky company. Uh, the technology that is used is called the SAW technology, which stands for Surface Acoustic Wave. And the simplest way to describe it, it's like taking a fingerprint. Oh, okay, all right, so and chemical we, fingerprint. That's it, chemical fingerprint, it, anal it analyzes it, uh, and if it's uh, positive, then you'll get a, obviously, indication on the screen. If and it's a negative, you won't get uh, any alarm to go off. Now, from what I can see here, Mark, it's, it's a fairly easy unit to hold. It looks well, like a pistol. Um, and everybody knows in the fire industry and in uh, you know, special hazards industries, pistol grips are what we're used to. Uh, so it feels fairly light, Mark. I mean, it it's obviously doesn't seem too cumbersome to carry around. Well, think about it. Your responders are going to be in a chemical suit. So you have to have something that they can hang on to. You've got vice buttons, real easy to access when you've got layered gloves. Right. Uh, and a large screen to read for, for to be able to see through layers of a mask and a, and a, and a protective suit. Sure. So you need to have something that's real simple. And the best part about it, training is very easy. Somebody can pick this up and use it relatively easy. Now, what I'm noticing actually for the viewers at home, it just showed fast and warm up and some words on there that were fairly easy to read. So I'm assuming that if you're in that suit looking through several layers of mask and plastic, uh, you're able to read what's going on. And like you said, big buttons so we can go ahead and touch those easy. That is correct. Now, what are we running on here? I mean, I noticed it's powered. It's sampling right now, right? Right, that's correct. So, so what kind of batteries are we running on? Uh, you know, this, like this runs on lithium-ion batteries, which you'll get eight hours of operation. And one of the beauty, obviously, when you're out in the field and you have to, if you need to do a rapid change, it's just as easy as sliding a battery out and slide another one. Can I, can I see the battery for a second yes, here? Now, what's interesting here, folks, is I'm looking at this battery. If you've seen any of our other MSA products right now, they all run on what I'm assuming is the similar uh, lithium-ion battery. Very is this, that is correct. Is this the same battery? Uh, uh, very very yes. darn close. Very darn close to it. <laughs> it's a good try on my part to tie it together. <laughs> but anyways, Mark, so we can recharge this, and we can go ahead and have this unit ready on standby at any time. That is correct, and you can run it on one battery or two batteries. I'll say, time. so two batteries is going to be a piggyback system and give you that much longer of a, of a duration. That is correct, and you can slide one out and slide another one without even turning the instrument off. And it looks like that's fairly easy to do if you're in that big suit. If you're in that big suit. <laughs> big suit. Uh, now, I guess the only other thing that I'm noticing here is you've got one single hazmat CAD unit. Now, are there any other hazmat CAD units out on the market with this for, from MSA? We've got the hazmat CAD. This is the hazmat CAD plus. This bottom portion here is actually toxic sensors in here. I so see. you can pick and detect halogen or hydrogen, which again could be used in certain application, terrorist applications for pesticides that they might be able to get their hands on relatively easy to detect. The top portion up here is your chemical warfare agent detector. So 
But Customers buy... don't have to get the plus. As a customer, you can purchase just the chemical warfare agent detecting portion of it. That is correct. Okay, so there's actually packages with the Hazmat CAD folks. These are things that we can go out, decide what we want to buy, build a package, and get it from MSA and Firematic, obviously. Uh, and it seems like you know a, a pretty intense product. It, and the bottom line is, when it, 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 if it's simple for the user, anybody can pick it up and use it. We all know simplicity in the in the fire and in uh, you know government agencies. Uh, simplicity is good. These are things that we have to you know use in a pinch and use in a hurry. Uh, so we certainly don't want to have to be thinking too hard there. We've got other things we're trying to worry about. So, uh, Mark, I want to thank you for coming over. This was uh, you know a very informative very session. The Hazmat CAD seems like a just a neat tool.